goes the dynamite. That was glorious. Yeah, good shot, Jakey. Come on, make it a game. He's got to figure out a way to strike on the left lane. Three strikes in this title match, but all three have come on the right lane. Two pin lead. I'm not sure he was buying that one at release. Oh. So he's got a pair there. He's tied right now for the most in PBA history. <sighs> and he's never been in trouble tonight. Oh, he's just... It's all single pin spares. He's massacred the pocket. Every shot's left three soft tens. He needs to convert here and just good count. Actually, I'm sorry. He needs to convert here. Jacob Butcher can still shoot 227. With a spare here, Jason Belmonte would need to fill 20 in the 10th frame for 228. It's not over, but it's looking pretty good for Belmonte. Butcher working on a double. Must strike. Make it a triple. Not that time. It's 21. Stares it down. Not without a fight. Not without a fight. Again, 227 max for Jacob Butcher. 238 max for Jason Belmonte. Big shot here. Biggest shot of his career, looking for his first major victory. A major hand bone. He's a gutsy kid. He's not afraid of anything. And he knows how to strike. And at least for the time being, has figured out a way to get the seven pin out on the left lane. One more gets him into the 220s. He's got two more shots. If he strikes out, he will force Belmonte to strike first ball in the 10th. We have a ball game. Make him earn it. You heard him say it, make him earn it. Count very important now, Rob. If he strikes, it's a one-pin match. If he doesn't strike, that gives Belmonte a little wiggle room. Yeah! Make Last five in a row for Jacob Buttruff, written off after he whipped the seven pin in the six. Remember that frame. Six. In a row to close. He's got a 227. He sits down. The legend steps up. Belmonte strikes spare to win by one. If he doesn't strike on this ball, if he goes nine spare strike, we'll have a tie. Been here before. strike not one single emotion came out of that man's body after that shot he needs a strike or a spare for history Arya Hugo back home in New South Wales stand up get ready to cheer on dad
Take it in. You're watching history live on FS1. Kimberly, Aria, Hugo, Sylvie. Daddy did it. Daddy did good. Amazing, amazing guy. Just an incredibly talent, talented human being. Unbelievable. 11th career major in his 11th season great game, great game. Great game. on the PBA Tour. Great week. Super proud. Thank you. The first to win three titles I don't know what to say, guys. this year. Two of them majors. Touchdown. Coming home with a world championship trophy. I'm going to show you all in class, I promise. I love you, R.A. Hugo, Sylvie, Kimberly, Mum, Dad, Beck, James, Amilla, and Samson. Thank you, Bill and Barbara Chrisman. Storm. Your winning shot. Second one in the tenth just absolutely shreds Ozzie! the rack. Ozzy! Oi, oi, oi! Oi, oi, oi! You guys should be down here. It is absolutely electrifying. Right now I'm joined by Tom Clark, the commissioner and CEO of the PBA, for the trophy presentation. First of all, I just got to say that bowling is the greatest sport that has ever been invented. And these guys just proved it again. It's incredibly exciting. And this young man right here is proving week after week that he may be the greatest bowler that we've ever seen. And it's an incredible. This was the greatest World Series that we've ever had. The Earl Anthony Trophy for the second consecutive year. Jason Belmonte, congratulations. Thank you very much. Thank you. Oh, Jason, I don't even know where to start with this. This crowd absolutely loves you. But you know what? You have made personal history in the past. You've hit milestones. You've shared with other people and other players. But today, you make history. You set the bar 11 majors. What does that mean to you? Very seldomly am I lost for words. Tonight is one of those moments where if I could express in English what is feeling right now inside, it wouldn't make any sense to anyone. <laughs> I'm just so thrilled. Um, I'm so honored to, to pass two of the greatest players, if not the greatest players of all time, Earl and Pete Weber. It is a, truly an honor to have my name above those two players. So you have officially set the bar. So what is next? I really want to just enjoy this, but there's still this little voice in the back of my head that says, I'm not done. I want more. But I'm going to let myself just enjoy the moment right now and thank everybody here in Detroit. Thank you, guys. You guys are awesome. Bill and Barbara Crispin from Storm. I've won all of my championships with Storm Bowling equipment and I, I couldn't be more proud to have them associated with me. I know that you love seeing all these people here rooting for you, but let's take a look at the monitor up here because if I'm not mistaken, we have some people in Australia watching you <laughs> live. Oh, there they are. Oh my God. Put into words what it means to have your kids and your town, your hometown watching you right now make history. It's very emotional. I, I miss them dearly. And um, I wish they would sit in front row. Uh, thank you, Mrs. Tomedy from Nashdow for hooking up the big screen. Um, I, I'm just, I love you guys very much. That's really all I can say. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Jason Belmonte, congratulations on making history your 11th major win. 236 to 227.